Hello dear friends. Welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling, exercise number 2. We make this 3D model with minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select the part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. In the start we make this complete profile on the top face and extrude up to 8 mm. Then, we make this profile on the right side plane and extrude up to 8 mm with mid-plane option. Let's start modeling. Select the top plane and click on the sketch. Select the line tool from the sketch tab. The select origin point for the first point of the line. Move Corsair to left side straight horizontally and select second point at approximate length. Then straight vertically like this. Next, right side like this then angular line like this and next straight right side for the end point we get straight vertical tracking from an origin point and click the end point of this line now we select all lines the help of window cross selection then select mirror entities tool from the sketch tab Make sure all select entities are added in Entities to Mirror section. Also, make sure all selected lines are changed in sky blue color. Select the mirror about. Expand the part details from here. And select the right plane. Check the mirror about the section. A right plane added in this section. You can see here highlighted the preview of our mirror entities. Click on the OK mark. Now our profile is in closed lookup. Now, let's set the dimensions. Select the Smart Dimension tool from the Sketch tab. Select this line and place the dimension, like this. Enter the value 18 plus 18 plus 20 equals 56 unit. Click OK. Next, select this line and put the value 16 millimeters. Click OK. Next, select this line and put the value 12 millimeters. Click OK. Now, select this point and this point. Place the dimension and put the value 18 millimeters. Next, select this line and place the dimension. This dimension should be 20 millimeters. That means our sketch in perfect dimension is per drawing. There is a warning. Just ignore this and click OK. Now select this line and this line. Place the dimension and enter a value 16 millimeters click OK. That's it, this profile has completed. Means, its sketch is fully defined. Click on the OK mark and end the dimensions command. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Enter the extrude value here, 8 mm. As shown in the diagram, Click on the OK mark. See the 2D sketch converted into 3D solid. Next, we make this profile on the right side plane. Select the right plane from here. And select sketch. Press the control key with 8 to keep normal or sketch plane. Take a line tool from the sketch tab. 
This first point we select for the line. Move Corsair straight to the upside and select the second point, like this. Then draw a straight horizontal line to the left. Next, draw the inclined line on this edge. Then join this starting point to close this profile. Escape the command. Take a Smart Dimension tool. And, select this vertical line and place the dimension. Enter the value 16 mm. Click OK. Next, select this horizontal line. Place the dimension. Enter the value 14 mm and, click OK. Then select the bottom straight line. Place the dimension. Enter the value 24 mm and, click OK. Click on the OK mark and end the dimensions command. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Drag the mouse wheel to rotate the object slightly to get the idea of the 3D model. Now, notice here, our sketch is on the right plane and Profile Extrude in one direction of the plane. Go to the Direction 1 section. Drop down the Extrude options and select the Midplane option. Now see, this feature divides the extrude value both sides of the plane. Enter the extrude value similar as previous value, 8 mm as shown in the diagram. Click on the OK. Now, this 3D modeling is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the appearance and select metal. Select brass material and I choose cast brass material. Just drag it on the object and select the body option. See, here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.